This question is from Shane, who it appears works in some kind of logistics. Uh, and it's about conditional formatting. Basically, what, it, what he's asking is, say we have one set of values in this column F here. So like 1 through 15, whatever it is. Um, and he wants to paint these values different colors based on if they're in another list. So he has a long list. You know, we just, I just picked a subset here, 3, 9, 15. And he, if any of these values in column F matches, he wants to paint them you know, say red or green or whatever it is, um, so that he can highlight his, you know, his data in, in the ways that he wants. So uh, the kind of keyword here that we're looking for, if you were to like Google this, would be uh, custom formula conditional formatting. Um, that's something that like I haven't seen anything published on really. I haven't dug into it at all because I, I don't really use uh, conditional formatting that much. But I think this could be super useful, and it was interesting to uh, to find this solution. So basically, if we want to do that, do this match kind of system, what we can do is let's go to format, conditional formatting, and we'll apply to range F12 through F. So we'll highlight, we'll, we'll apply this to the entire column F. Um, so you'll see if we're doing a simple like cell is not empty format, this is just going to populate all these as green. But instead, we'll scroll down and we'll do uh, custom formula is. And let's write a formula here. So we're going to use match. Um, sorry, it's tough, tough to type with one hand with the mic here. Um, match F12. So in a uh, conditional formatting custom formula, you're going to write the cell number, so like F12. You're going to leave the 12 um, unlocked, so no dollar sign, and leave it just as 12. So it's going to slide down on its own. You don't need to like specify a range here. Uh, and then we'll use the indirect. Um, if you want to ref, his, his question, he wanted to reference another tab, so we have to use indirect. Um, since we're not referencing another tab, we don't have to use indirect here. So let's just do a simpler version. Um, so we'll do B12, and this we want to lock because we, we want the entire range. B12, B, uh, and we want it to be zero, that type of match. So that's all we really need here. If you'll notice, um, all of our values here, 3, 9, 15, that are in this range are highlighted green. And um, yes, yeah, so you could use indirect like I've written here, if you if your range is like say in like a settings tab or some other tab, uh, then you could do that, and you could paint these red or yellow, whatever it, uh, whatever you end up needing there. So that's it, uh, Shane. Thanks for the question. This was an interesting one to work through. Um, this is a uh, can you can really like apply this kind of same thinking to any custom formula that you want uh, in conditional formatting. So hope that helps.